What's up, Algebra 2? All right, super easy lesson to close the week out. Uh, shouldn't have any problem on this. This should be a very, very easy 100 for everybody, okay? Um, so we're going to be dealing with proportions. Of course, proportion is just two ratios or two fractions uh, that are equal to each other. Um, so we're solving for x here. So our value of x, if it's correct, will be such that when that value is plugged in for each of these x's, the, the result is two equal fractions, okay? So the way we solve proportions um, is by, by cross-multiplying and setting those products equal to each other and solving for x. Okay, so that's going to be, we're going to take this times this, so 2x plus 1 times 3x plus 2. We're going to set that equal to, equals 3x minus 2 times 2x minus 3. All right, so just go ahead and do the FOIL method, and that's going to give you 6x squared, so that, and then plus 4x plus 3x plus 2 equals 6x squared. Uh, yeah, that, and then minus 9x, minus 4x, and positive 6. Yep. All right, combine like terms. 6x squared plus 7x plus 2 equals 6x squared minus 13x plus 6. Okay, now we're going to solve for x here. So I'm sure you already know what to do, but let's just go ahead and go through this. If I were, if I were to subtract 6x squared from both sides, then these would actually both just cancel. So it leaves me with 7x plus 2 equals negative 13x plus 6. Uh, plus 6. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my 13x over here. Cancels him out. It leaves me with 20x plus 2 equals 6. Subtract 2, subtract 2. It leaves me with 20x equals 4. Divide both sides by 20. And we've got x equals, okay, 4 over 20 reduces down to 1 fifth. Okay. And what happens if, you can double check this on your own time, but if you take 1 fifth and plug it in for each of these x's, then what, and, and, and you go ahead and do all the math, then you'll find that these two fractions are actually equal to each other. All right. Let me go ahead and give you uh, one more example here. I think I forgot to write it down. Give me just a second. I'm actually going to do number... Let me bring my computer over here real quick. I'm going to do number 10. So number 10 is... It's going to be 6y squared minus 2y plus 5 over 4 equals 3y squared minus 2 over 2. Okay. All right. So same, same thing here. I'm going to cross multiply. So it's going to be 2 times 6y squared minus 2y plus 5 equals 4 times 3y squared minus 2. Okay, you see what we did there? We just took this, 2 times that, that's here, and then 4 times that, that's here. Okay, all right, so now we just need to distribute. It's just going to be 12y squared minus 4y plus 10 equals 12y squared minus 8. Okay, now if I were to subtract 12y squared from both sides, they would 
cancel out. All right, so that leaves me with negative 4y plus 10 equals negative 8. Let's go ahead and add, I'm sorry, subtract that 10 there. So we get negative 4y equals negative 18. Okay, we divide both sides by negative 4. And you get y equals, okay, um, all right, it's the same thing as 18 over 4, which actually reduces down to uh, 9 over 2. Divide both sides, divide uh, numerator and denominator by 2, and you get 9 over 2. Okay, so that's that's what you're doing. I wanted to give you just a little a little tip that'll help you on number 11 here. Okay, so you're looking at number 11. Let me close that before I mark, put marker on my computer screen. Permanent. Poiming it, Micah. Poiming it. All right. So let me give you a little bit of guidance on this one. All right. It's going to be helpful for you. You look at this. This, this, and this. So the 3x minus 12, the 4x squared minus 9, and the 4x squared minus 16x plus 15, those can all be factored, right? So you can factor out in this one up here. You can factor out a 3 over here. That's the difference of two perfect squares. And here it's just going to take a little bit of trial and error to figure out what the factoring is there, right? So go ahead and factor everything first. And that should lead to some cancellation that you can do which will simplify this problem. Then once you simplify the problem, then you're just going to do what we just did in the last problem. You're going to do your cross, uh, you're going to set your cross products equal to each other and solve for x. Okay. All right. You guys are awesome. Take care. Talk to you soon.